of our solo wild camp for a night. Today we are in the Galloway Forest Park in Dumfries and Galloway in Scotland and at a little place Braden, Braden, Loch Braden. So it's full of forestry roads, and I've come to a car park, and it's as far as I can get. I've got to carry all my kit from here, so it's a good couple of miles walk into the down the forestry road, um, into this beautiful part of the country. It's an absolute scorching day. Um, Ravens kicking about there. I've never been to this part, but this is this is just lovely. Um, it's the dark sky part, so it's pretty cloudy, but you never know what tonight brings. And hopefully, I can see some stars. I don't think I've got the great equipment to catch the stars, but yeah, that's what it is. So I'm all packed up and I'm going to head down this forestry track it's all gated here so I can't get any further anyway with, with a vehicle so we're at the car park we'll head down and uh, have a pleasant walk Absolutely scorching today. So this is a part of the Galloway Forest Park. It's Loch Braden that I'm going to. Um, never been here before, so this is a new venture. And today left the tent at home, and I will be. I'm at camping. <laughs> so, brought the hammock and the tarp from DD. So, this will be an expedition for a night. <laughs> I've watched a few videos on how to put this up. It's always better when somebody else puts it up, but this is going to be a laugh. Um, so yeah, it'll be an experience for sure, and the scenery here is just beautiful, you can see for miles, just this is where I'm sort of heading down this forest road, so yeah, can't wait to get into this little bit, and listen to the wildlife and the peace and quiet and birds it's what we all long for it's what we do this for as well so today I've set out a bit earlier than what I did last time probably just kicking off about midday here blue skies with some cloud Awesome.
Now here we are. This is Loch Braddon, which is in the Galloway Forest Park. Um, on the map, you're just west of um, Loch Dun, which is the larger of the loch. This is pretty big, by the way. Loch Dun's even bigger. Um, so I'm on the west side of Loch Dun. Um, parked in that car park and had a trek down here and had to cut through along the side of the the water here and it's a fair hike to where I am now. Um, I'm going to put it between the hammock between these two posts, these two trees here. Um, I did see somebody measuring it out with their feet roughly and they, they were saying between 13 and 16 of your own feet paces. Um, so that's what I've kind of done. So we're like roughly 16, 17 here between these two. Um, so yeah, this is the DD hammock, extra large front line. So this is how it comes. Um, yeah. I haven't bought any extra straps with it, so this is as it comes. So you get the two poles, uh, the short poles that go in to keep the, the, the fly net and bug net up. And you also get the straps, the normal straps that go around each of your tree, trees at the each, either end. I haven't bought any of the the, the sort of strapping that you, that you can buy. That's, I'm just going to test this out. How it comes when you buy it in the bag. So, we'll put it up, this is going to be fun and games, so we'll just cut to it, and I'll see how I get on, I might be a while. I've also had a check up the way, as people have said, no other, well, there's no overhanging branches or rotten trees lying about, so we look like we're pretty good. People were saying to put it about head height, as in the straps, chest height probably, so that's probably alright. I don't know if this is a bit high for my liking, but once a minute, clean the bed down. the moment of truth now that I've got this bug net up I'm not bringing my feet in because it's, they're all manky, covered in dirt, so I don't want to drag that in yet. But uh, it feels very relaxing. It feels very comfortable, which is strange. So this is the DD tarp, 3 metres by 3 metres, olive green, it says it includes 4 guy ropes and 4 pegs, which I didn't notice, uh, I didn't think it came with anything here, so, but, I think as it stands, we've got another test with this. You want to iron out all these little problems before it gets dark and you're 
fumbling about trying to fix it. I think it's actually pretty decent that I can see um, it's now caused a bigger gap between the roof of the bug net and the roof of the shelter there so plenty of room. Good. Excellent. I've blown the Berghaus air mat up. It's supposed to be self-inflate, but I think throughout time it's kind of lost its go, I think. So you always have to like top it up, whether that's your thing or not. I, if There's probably better ones out in the market there, to be honest, that have a, a better self-inflate system. Anyway, different angle here. So we're, this is the pocket that, that uh, they provide to put a roll mat in or some sort of cushion. So basically it just slips in there. Velcro's back up with the three patches and your body shape will take that to whatever shape you are and uh, shouldn't actually cause you any bother, should just pad everything out a little bit. I know DD do a, a sort of under air cushion thing. It's getting into this, we're in the summer time now so very rarely I think you would need it. Um, if I'm wrong, prove me wrong and tell me that I'm uh, hands up. Uh, probably more like for autumn and winter time where you could be doing with the extra heat under the, the heat cushion underneath. Um, which is basically like a, a, a hanging duvet that traps the air in and keeps you warm. So yeah, that's the air mat in there, so that's another piece done. So, for dinner tonight, we have some rice, Tilda's rice, masala rice, and we also have some fish. I brought that with me today. So, fish and rice. I was fishing earlier on, not catching a thing. Um, there's probably not even a fish in it, to be honest. Uh, anyway, or it's just my bad fishing. So, we also have a lemon with the fish. So let's get cooking as they say. Fish is going down well. Got the rice cooked. A wee bit breezy, but still a nice sun, and it's perfect. What a nice way to relax and eat your dinner. So I'll get this eaten before it goes cold, and I'll get the kettle on and, well, pan on for some hot water and get a cup of tea to warm me up. So all fed, I have my cup of tea and never usually bring a pudding <laughs> but you're allowed to spoil yourself once in a while so I thought why not so, yeah, fresh out the garden, that's what they are, fresh out the garden, go to spoil yourself, eh?
strawberries and raspberries. You can't even eat the garden raspberries and strawberries. Absolutely brilliant. I'm going to tuck into some of these. I might have a wee fire on the stones here. Just depends how things are. Um, I'm going to leave the rest of these raspberries and strawberries for my porridge in the morning. Mm. Oh, they're good. Well, sorry it's a little bit on the dark side. Um, I have got a torch on there, but I think it's kind of... It's just that funny light, isn't it? Okay, so I've kind of called it a night. And I'm in my hammock. And it's the weirdest feeling I've ever had. It's so unnatural, but yet, it's actually just brilliant. It's so peaceful outside, and I, I can feel a good sleep coming on. I do kind of slip a little bit, so I'm probably going to say that the, the back rope behind me is probably a little bit higher than what it should be, so I'm slipping down in the middle. Um. But yeah, apart from that, it's actually bloody comfy. Um, I've got the tarp up and it's... I can just feel, hear little pine needles dropping on top of it. I reckon I'm in for a good sleep and I, I, oh, I need it. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes. And we'll see you in the morning. Morning. I didn't have a great sleep, but uh, I was pretty, it was pretty cold in the middle of the night, so I had to put my, I ended up having to put my jumper on, and I think it's just something new, and I think it's more the, the fact that I'm a fidget in my sleep, so I was trying. To, I was probably a little bit restless, but overall, it's actually pretty comfy. Um, I couldn't feel my roll mat underneath me last night, and I found out that it's actually right up the side of me here. So I'm not actually even on it. Um, I'll need to look into something like whatever's happened. Um. Pretty good things is that this one's been modified. It's got a, it's got there's a string right along the top here, and you've got a little travel pouch thing for bits and pieces and lights. So it saves stretching out each pocket. Um, yeah, it's very peaceful this morning. It's a lovely start. So we'll get up. Get some breakfast, get a cup of tea. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay, I've come down to the, the water edge here. 
because the midges are out in the woods. So if I just have my breakfast down here, I've got the porridge with the, the strawberries in it and the raspberries and my cup of tea, midgenets off so I can kind of relax a wee bit and leave the midges up there. So this takes me a, gives me an opportunity to say thanks very much for watching the video. Um, hope you've got something from it as usual. It was not a bad sleep. Um, I think for the first time it was pretty decent and I'm, I'm chuffed that I got it up and I actually stayed up all right. I didn't end up on the, the floor. Um, so I'll put a load of links in below for the DD equipment and where I am. Um, so if you like the video, you can give us a thumbs up or share it and even subscribe if you want. So the sun's starting to come out as well, so not a bad not a bad start to the morning. You can't have it all midges or, or rain. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks very much. Appreciate it all. We'll see you next time on another video on a somewhere else, which I haven't found yet. So Stay safe, be kind, and all the best, and we'll catch you next time.